Everton have reportedly had a bid of 25 million euros rejected by Barcelona for their forward Vitor Roque. That is coming out of Spain today. It's also being carried by journalist Florian Pattenberg. Uh, it's it seems a strange one if Everton are looking to to spend that amount of money. Obviously, been very interested in Wilfred Nonto all summer, but there is other options out there and. This one, I know Barcelona are looking to try and create space in their squad list, and it has to be through registration of players. Roque came in last season uh, from Brazil. He's made 16 appearances for Barca and scored two goals. He can play anywhere across the front line. He is an exciting player. It would be an exciting sign. But when you look at if money, and it feels like there is money um, limited at Goodison Park this summer, then is a 19-year-old who's never played in England before going to be where most of Everton's remaining money goes? Is Sean Dykes really going to buy into that? I mean, he may well do. Um, it just seems a bit of a strange one. But just right now, apparently that bid has been rejected anyway, if indeed there has been a bid. He's the kind of player you would want Everton to be going to buy, that kind of exciting player. But you've also got to deal with what's first and what the needs are right now. I'm not convinced that he's a direct replacement for Dominic Calvaloon. That has been suggested today. He's he's only five foot nine for a start. So hasn't got the physical stature of Calvaloon, but got good movement. Scored at a one in two in Brazil, playing for Atletico Paranaense. We'll see. We'll see. It seems a little bit unlikely, but sometimes they're the ones that uh, come through and surprise you. But an opening bid has apparently been rejected and Everton are in discussions with uh, sporting director of Barca of Deco um, over this transfer. We'll see. We will see. Uh, Everton have completed the signing today. That is of 18-year-old centre-back Will Tayman from Burton Albion. He impressed Everton sufficiently enough for the Blues to bring him into the club. He has signed a three-year deal with the Toffees. He will go into Paul Tate's under-21 side. He made three appearances in Burton Albion's first-team squad last season. I think he made his debut, actually, against Everton in the uh, EFL Trophy. He made two appearances in that and one in League One as well. He said it's a dream come true to move to Everton and he hopes to play in Everton's first team in the future. Manchester United are reportedly monitoring Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin's situation. United are hoping to bring in a more experienced striker. They've got Rasmus Hoyland, who is reportedly out for a while. Injured at the minute, Joshua Zerks, he isn't fully fit either. It leaves them really with only Marcus Rashford, who tends to play better off the left anyway. They're apparently looking round for a striker. Calvert-Lewin reportedly fits the bill with what they're looking for and the amount they want to pay. Manchester United's issue is they've got to sell to bring in uh, money to be able to bring the next wave of players in. Scott McTominay still continuing to be linked with a move away from United. Uh, Fulham have been interested in them. He's actually been linked with Everton as well, McTominay, but uh, United reportedly monitoring Calvert-Lewin's situation. The Everton striker has only got 10 months left on his current Everton deal. The club are still speaking with uh, Calvert-Lewin's representatives to see whether or not he will consider signing a new and improved contract offer but we understand that the club have given a cut-off as to when a, any move out of the club by Calvert-Lewin would need to be done. We'll wait and see whether Evan stick to that as well. And finally, there will be a ninth-minute tribute to former Everton striker Kevin Campbell, who sadly passed away earlier this year. The 1878 have announced a ninth minute of applause against Brighton and Hove Albion on Saturday at Goodison Park. There is a visual tribute planned to our former captain uh, against Bournemouth later in the month when it's a hope that his family members will be at the ground for that one as Evan paid tribute to Evan's first ever black captain he played a huge huge part in keeping Evan football club in the Premier League scored some key goals was a tremendous footballer but an even better human being who was obviously friends to us here at Toffee TV as well such a lovely lovely man and this is a massively appropriate thing for Evertonians to to take part in not only against Brighton at the weekend but also against Bournemouth later in the month. That is it for the News Daily. See you later.